Hey my wild and crazy golden ear peeps, it is Ilala and today's video is going to be about giving ourselves a manicure ourselves to save us anywhere between $25 and $50 depending on what kind of manicure you get. If you get a fill or gel that can be up towards the 50 or more. A basic manicure is about $25 and that doesn't even include tip. So I am going to go get my stuff and be back and I will show you how to do it. Don't go anywhere. All right, ladies, I'm back. And I have my arsenal and a few things I want to tell you about nails. So I take biotin. This is great for hair, nails, and skin. And this is 5,000 MCGs and it's at Costco. That's where I got it. Just it dissolves under your tongue. You need one a day. They really work for nails. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm hard on my nails. I'm out in the dirt and I'm out with the goats and the horses and just wash my hands a lot and they can make them brittle but I tell you because of this and because I do regular manicures my nails are in top shape because just like your face people look at your hands so you want to take care of them. What we need to start is I have it a hand towel because apparently we're going to get uh, down and sloppy. Some of the tools you'll need is a, a fingernail file I, a number two for natural nails, but I'm also loving these glass nails, nail files. They seem to just be really smooth and do well on my nails because do my nails. I go across, you don't want to file, you want to just, you don't want to go knee deep into the cuticle, you just want to file like so. Just get them shaped after you've removed any polish, then you want to shape your nails before we start into the manicure. So you have that, and then you'll need a little scary scissor. It's a cuticle scissor. I know you've seen them in the salon, and this will help get the um, goods that we're going to get off with this. This is to help with our cuticles. I don't know what it's called, but it's got a tip on the end, and it's got this little flat deal on the other. Then you're going to need a cuticle remover emollient and this is going to help clean up your cuticles and push back your cuticles ever so slightly. I always have a nice wonderful lotion. This is Curel Extreme Dry Hand Relief. I just happen to have it on demand. And then my cuticle oil. This is C&D cuticle oil. I don't know, just grab yourself some cuticle oil. You can just use a DIY like olive oil or any oil like that you have on hand. They're a little messier, but oil is oil, and you'll need that. Now we are going to take the hot water with the Dawn dish soap in it, and we're going to put our hand in it, and we're going to soak those for three minutes. So I'm going to soak my left hand, and I will be right back. Okay, we are back. My nails have been soaking for three minutes. For the sake of this video, you're not going to see my, for the sake of this part, you're not going to see my face. <laughs> anyway, you move that aside and then you wipe off your hands and then you have your little tools. Anyway, I shake up my little cuticle remover emollient and I start at my thumb. And what you want to do is you want to take the little flat side of your tool and see if you see it. There you go. And you're going to start on the outside by just filing gently. I call it filing, but you're just, you're pushing up whatever gets stuck on there. I don't know if it's skin or if it's part of your nail. You want to be very careful you are not pushing hard and that you're just pushing back your cuticle. And you get all that little stuff on there, and that's when you take your funky little scissors like so, and you go up the side to get them off. My cousin frowns on any kind of touching that cuticle with scissors. It's just supposed to be pushed back. Then you move on to your other finger. Hopefully you can see this okay with your flat little tool. And just carefully go down the sides. Like I said, if you've ever had your nails done at a salon, this is familiar to you. You do not want to cut any of your cuticle because the cuticle is what protects the nail bed. I'll do one more for you. We're going to take it just on the side. I hope you can see what I'm doing. See how it just push your cuticle easy down that side. I go over the rest of my nail lightly to get whatever 
gooch that is off there. We'll have to look into the gooch uh, category of nails <laughs> and grab. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these nails and come back and show you the next step. All right, now that our cuticles are done, it's time to go over and wash your hands really, really good and dry them and then come back and I use one of these buffers on my nail, my dry nail. I just buff, 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 and it makes them shiny. Sometimes that's enough for people, but I still add, because of all the stuff I do with my hands, I still use these nail takes, and it's a, a, it has nail protein in it. And so I'll put a couple coats on there, let it dry, and it dries pretty quickly. And then I take my cuticle oil, and I massage that really nice into my cuticles. And that's something you should have by your chair, and you should do that whenever you get a chance because cuticles when they start to get dry and crack I I don't know about you but I pick them then I have my Curel Ex dry extreme hands this is when my hands were really dry extreme hands extreme dry hand relief and I massage that in and now I'm done nails look great and it's really it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it it's about 25 minutes 30 minutes from start to finish it takes time to soak your nails in your uh, hot water and that's important to do to get your cuticle softened up and then you have your cuticle remover and that that's what takes time is getting the cuticles all cleaned up and then the rest is really quick so I hope you enjoy this I hope you learn something from it and I hope you make this into your daily life somewhere. Don't forget we have our feet. How to give yourself a home pedicure and save anywhere from $30 to $50 there. All right. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it enough to subscribe and hit that like button because it's so important for me building my channel. I really appreciate it. And then we'll see you again real soon. Stay out of trouble.